Hey y'all, it's the RTV, and we're here right out of Temple 2, and this is gonna be Side Quest Adventures number two, part one. As you see, we just made it out of the temple, two. So we head back to Malari's mines, and as you can see, he just finished the sword. The White Sword. Mm, I don't know about about the name. So we need two more elements to make it the Sacred Blade. Hyrule Castle. Okay. Seems to be the center of a. Uh, a lot of stuff in the Legend of Zelda games. And you know the deal, we're just gonna speed through a lot of the useful, useless, I should say, playthrough parts. Just talking to a bunch of the, the apprentices, blah blah blah, your greatness. We're back outside, and as he said, you can now just use the shortcut down the cliff. Or up the cliff. It works both ways. Bam, as you see, it turned over rocks. We're gonna head on down. Do 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 do. Alright. There's a little hidden cave there. Didn't really pause it, but. Now that we have the cane Apache, we can head out that head upwards, the path we didn't take before. Yay, we pop up and open the bridge. And this will take us to the Hyrule Castle field. And we're gonna go around for now. More speed through, pew pew. Using Kingstones again. Boom, there we go. Last one we found. Just the one he needed. Alrighty. kid that we confused with before. Now we can. Lolly, which is a weird name for a kid. Especially if that's a boy. That's opening up a stairway in Hyrule Castle. Seems to be a many things that are hidden in that castle. Alright, and another kinstone piece. Boom. Another hidden item in the Minish Village. It seems like. Or no, Lon Lon Ranch. Now we can talk to our old sword master. Bam, yep. We have the white blade. So now we'll be taught a new trick. So it's funny that she needed to teach us that we could break rocks with a sword. It's not like we could do it on our own. But whatever. Go ahead and possess our body.
This will make it so much easier to explore pots and break rocks. Gonna open up the path now, then the Hyrule Field. This will lead to a new area. Bale Falls. We can't really do anything there, so just leave for now. A new area. Royal Valley, it sounds fancy. that we just can't push away, but a new heart piece. You <laughs> can't do anything down there. Nope, can't do anything here either. But it leads us to the same place. I can move on. Alright, now we can open up this path, which will lead us right to the Hyrule Village, or town. Yep. Alright, we use our new handy item. Let's explore more areas that we couldn't before. We're back at a different area of Vale Falls. Ooh, dropping bombs, man. That is no fun at all. Alright, and before we go, new heart piece. Bam. We already got two. And we're gonna head down. And that will take us to one of those items we unlock. Just 200 rupees. It's already 350 from the temple plus that. And that door, you need a kinstone piece. But a new plate, new door is unlocked in the Hyrule Castle. It'll be the left one you first enter. And so what this area is, is the Elemental Sanctuary. Changed colors. <laughs> no, there's a new cool feature. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so now we use all our power, we can make a double, make a clone of ourselves. A little ghost figure. But just uh, be warned that if your ghost runs into a wall or anything, he'll disappear. And there's no extra power, just a double spin. Let's explore a little bit. Nothing really there, just kind of pathway for show, I guess. Nothing there, just a cool little tile on the ground that changes colors. But now we're gonna pay a visit to our king. Let him know what's up. guys know first. And trust me, this is worth the trip. Yeah, good thing we can't hit it with the cane Apache. We wouldn't want to break the statue of our girlfriend, I mean, Princess Zelda, <laughs> But no, we can fuse the Kingstone with this priest, and like the symbol says, it'll unlock a heart piece, or a uh, cave of fairies. So now we're just gonna roam around a little bit and then gonna head out to that that tree we just unlocked. <laughs> nice entrance. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, not cool, not cool, not a good gift. I'm trying to test the, the power of the, the spin technique with this new blade, but not really getting a good opportunity to use it. about time to get serious. And there you go, it's not all that hard. So, Vadi was just a little boy. In fact, if this is correct, he's still just a little boy, which is kind of ridiculous. A little boy is trying to take us out, or is trying to rule the world. That's 
That is a naughty little boy. I mean, seriously. Light Force, hmm. Now, back to see what we've unlocked. And yes, it's a cave with fairies. Which we needed, so that was very convenient. Nope, we can't move it. Clearly, we need double the manpower. But we can move this. If I stop failing for a moment. Alright. Now we've finally gone to the other side. We're just gonna... We're gonna do the usual. Cut all the grass. <whistles> all right, hidden cave. Another fairy cave that has a little pool in it. Some odd reason. Let's get back to what's in this hidden cave. Oh, there's quite a few beds, which I will take care of with my trusty boomerang. Or well, and sword. And another Kingstone piece, alright. We never have too many of those. I need to hear it again. Right now we've unlocked the path, so we can get back very easily. The inn's still closed at the moment, so let's leave. How did he get in here? Clearly he's magic. That's not good. 
but we can ignore that for now. Another bean planter. All right, and now the inn is open, and you can get rooms. Each of them will contain a kinstone piece, so I guess the red one's the most expensive one, and then you get the green one, the blue one. And one of the kids running around, if you catch them, will have a kinstone piece you can fuse with. Which will open the path to a door that we can't quite get to yet. But nonetheless, it's good to have opened it up. If you've played some other Legend of Zelda Game Boy games, those three should look familiar to you. I won't name the games, but uh, if you can, you win $50 if you're the first one to give us the answer at awkwardponage.com. No, that's a lie. We'll mention your name if you email the answer who those three uh, females were in the, the end from what game and what their names are. But right now we've uh, unlocked a secret little cave and we're taking care of that uh, golden snake that we unlocked with one of our kingstones. Which you know will unlock money money. Seems to be a dojo of another master with a heart piece. Bam. The true master of Hyrule. But it's dark and yeah, we're gonna have to light it with fire, which we can't do yet, so it's something we'll just have to get back to later. Unless with the element of fire we can no. That would only make sense. <laughs> um so we'll get back to that and just mark it down, remember that. Or just wait for the next uh, walkthrough. Or the other walkthrough, I should say. But we'll go down, and the fourth heart piece. That's a whole heart container in this one side quest. So we're already up to eight before we've even hit the um, third temple. So you want to head to the shoe shop. We'll finally, you'll fall asleep, knock the shoes off, and we'll finally be able to head up there and talk to those crafty little minish. That's mighty convenient. You can build the whole shoe, but only the shoemaker can finish it off. Guess that makes sense. And I was just checking, but if you do talk to one, you'll get the same message from the rest. But let's check one more time. I'm going to try the water I picked up earlier. 
Oh, wait, he found his fragment. And that king stone will magically unbend a tree. And you gotta wonder how a tree bends in the first place without being broken. And you're just gonna jump in some random person's house? That's also a random factoid. The big question is why have you entered a stranger's house? But again, you need fire to unlock that, so that's just something we'll have to. Put on a to-do list for later. Alright, and uh, the father finally came back, the farmer. So now we can head in the house and grab his key for him. It'll be hidden in one of the vases. And imagine that, I get on the first try. Luck of the awesome, I suppose. Alright, and we're just gonna do some other things first. Now we're going to try that water I picked up, which won't work. Alright, now we're going to head back to this uh, farmer's area. And they're digging for uh, kinstone pieces, so it's fitting that they both have one right now. And then we have the grip wings, so we can easily get back up there and not crennel. Good thing we found all those kinstone pieces in uh, the second temple, right? And one of our Goron friends. And if you've played uh, other Legend of Zelda games, you should know them. Creatures that uh, seemingly been around since the beginning of the Legend of Zelda series. A very strong race, apparently. Alright, now we'll give him the key. We got it because we're awesome. Greatness. And as such, now we can have access to the other side of his house. That'll get us to the other side of the field. And I was actually expecting us expecting him to give us some milk, but I guess you know a cut through the house is good enough. And that's it for the first part of Legend of Zelda Minish Cap Side Quest Part 1. Join us for Part 2 later. This is RTV. Thanks for joining me.